Hey guys, welcome back to another pick a card reading. Today we will be talking about how do uh, men view you. You have three pals, uh, hit, play and give. So pick one of these and we will see how do men view you. So hit pal one, play pal two and give pal three. So let's start for those of you who chose this hit. How do men view you? So I'm sensing for a lot of you, men kind of feel uh, that you're somebody who is kind of slightly reserved about your belief system. So Six of Pentacles reverse the notes that you kind of don't give away a lot. So some of them could be having certain questions about uh, what it is that you actually believe or uh, how you really apply your belief system. Um, you know how it functions in the practical tangible world so that's something interesting i'm getting that men are pretty much noticing your hair cut your hair for some reason especially if you guys are red heads or you have have uh like how do i say mid-length type of hair uh just above your shoulders for some reason that's noticeable quite noticeable here as well as your uh, arms area of your body. So something is very prominent there. Maybe you are uh, specifically well built in your torso, in your arms. Some of you are model-esque. Uh, men could be liking uh, the pictures where your arms are kind of above or if you have certain poses where they are really emphasized on your social media or something like that. So it can be the strength of your arms, it can be just the constitution, general sense of constitution. Uh, I'm getting that for some of you men like you in a little bit more uh, of puritanic type of uh, outfits or something along those lines. Like when you are dressed conservative a bit for you and some of you have a nice combination of alternative plus conservative. So. It's almost like they can't really predict you uh, when it comes to your outfits uh, from day to day. So that's something interesting. For a lot of you men feel like, uh, especially if they saw that, that you have uh, very beautifully built legs. Mm, specifically because the area around the knees and, uh, you know, legs are not really pretty for all people. And I'm getting very beautiful feet for some. So that's something that men are kind of noticing about you. Uh, also, men see you as somebody who will either have a very spiritual, traditional union uh, or no union at all. So you are not in a rush to commit. So they do sense a certain sense of measured, um, measured feeling when it comes to your approach to them. So maybe you're somebody who will think it thoroughly before you agree to go for a date uh, with the guy or something along those lines. I'm sensing for some, you could have a very beautiful balance between like masculine, feminine features, whoever you are, uh, or if there's something androgynous about your look, men really uh, like this. Um, but this will only be for the smaller portion, for the general portion. I'm just sensing the typical feminine or typical masculine, however you uh, resonate type of looks. So men kind of see that 
the haircuts which reveal your face really suit, suit you so for some reason I'm even sensing for some of you they would rather see you with the hair up uh, compared to hair down or something along those lines because they uh, want the full exposure to that beautiful face is what I'm sensing so I'm also sensing that a lot of men feel like you really kind of uh, have to allow yourself a little bit of creative expression when it comes to your haircut uh, that like normal uh, usual haircuts are not for you for some reason so it's almost like <clears throat> they would be more than happy to see you experimenting with I don't know undercuts or unequal haircuts or something something non-standard it can either be colors or uh, if you have it now, they are acknowledging uh, that it suits you perfectly and if you don't have it, they just feel like it would be kind of perfect for your uh, lifestyle, for who you are as a persona. So, that's something interesting. Men feel like you are really fair as a person and the way you treat people is the way uh, they deserve, basically, because we do have this just so... It kind of denotes that uh, if somebody is a man or a woman and proper with you, you will also be very proper and uh, ethical and just with them. And there, there's something just elevated about your sense of, uh, how do I say, yeah, treating somebody in accordance with their uh, behavior. So... Yeah, you're almost like embodiment of karmic laws when it comes to how you treat others. So, um, yeah, people know better uh, than to try and make a fool of you or something along those lines. So, that's something that's very evident in this one. With Jupiter in Aquarius, they, these, they do see a lot of eccentricity to you. So... Even if you do have some orthodox or conservative beliefs or uh, this, when you dress like that, uh, men still sense that there's something underneath you. Some of them are thinking that sexually you could be, uh, you know, freak in the sheets, lady in the streets, or a gentleman in the streets, or however you resonate with that one. That's something that I'm getting strongly in this one. Yeah, I'm just sensing, this may sound strange, but men uh, see you as the most proper person to take to, I don't know, rituals, for example, uh, you know, weddings, baptisms, uh, anything of that uh, nature, like person who will re look really decent and uh, admirable on their arm uh, while you guys are marrying off your younger sister or something along those lines. So... That's something that's coming up, definitely, in this one. Yeah, men, see, see you as somebody who has somehow elevated your appearance. We do have that scorpionic energy with the Tree of Wands uh, reversed. So, it's almost like you are more in the here and the now. Uh, you are less focused on future, and this is making you more grounded. Men are acknowledging, currently at least, in this moment that you are taking more uh, proper care about your body, uh, you have increased maybe the type of food that you ingest or your vitamins or something that you do uh, that's really, it's kind of, um, it's making you very beautifully uh, presentable to them, I will say. So that's something that's coming up. Yeah, man, just feel like you are somebody who can introduce them to some also new belief systems. So some men uh, I'm hearing who are in Tafira religion are uh, willing to explore your religion or they would be willing to even convert is what I'm sensing to whatever you believe in. Uh, even if you are not a religious person, even if you are, for example, uh, literally new age uh, alternative uh, types of belief systems, Wicca or whatever it is, men would really want, I don't know, you could be somebody who will say that you are an occultist or something along those lines and men uh, would want to hear everything about that. They would maybe want to adopt certain practices for, from your system is what I'm sensing. So, uh, yeah, that's interesting. 
yeah, there's just something about dark beauty in this one. So however you are, uh, there's just something that's something dangerous about your beauty, something um, almost like dark appeal, something criminal. So the, there is this puritanic side and you can look very well put together on the wedding. However, there's this also other side where they can take you for a punk concert. Uh, or something along those lines, you know, or heavy metal one, uh, and you will adjust beautifully in both settings. So maybe you're somebody who really looks amazing in a leather jacket or, um, I don't know, whatever it is to Dr. Martens, there's something about the boots, about your uh, footwear uh, that men kind of always notice and acknowledge. So, that's something that I'm sensing, okay, but if you like this small report, give it a small like so that it reaches more people. I'm also sensing men see you as somebody who will make them work for it, so you will make them work for attainment of your affections. So, and also as somebody who, uh, for whom they have to impress your family, they have to impress your nearest community community in order to get with you, in order to uh, get something going or to create some sort of interaction. Mm -hmm. I'm getting for a lot of you men uh, kind of really notice if you have like wavy hair uh, and if it's darker, uh, they do feel like there's something specifically appealing about that. Uh, it can be some some sort of relationship of your skin to color or something along those lines. Or I'm hearing some of you could be of darker uh, skin but having brighter color. Some type of juxtaposition. Or if you had that haircut at one point, they thought it looked really amazing on you. Uh, or if you're having it currently as well. So... I'm de definitely getting like unusual hair haircuts is something that men love or would love to see you on you. So, but even uh, I do sense that there are some of you that truly really have uh, just most normal classic hair uh, haircuts here. Uh, and they also think that it works beautifully for you too. Uh, however, they do sense certain possibilities when it comes to you, how adjustable you are as a character, as a personality, and uh, all the things that you can pull off uh, styling-wise and uh, appearance-wise. So I would say that they see a lot of spectrum to you as to who you are as a person and in all layers in general. So that's something that's interesting. Some of you, uh, you could be dealing with Scorpio or Sag and Taurus currently specifically and Libra uh, that's very antsy about you, that would really want to start something about you, with you. A Scorpio potentially that, see you, that sees you as a soulmate or kindred spirit and Sag uh, who may be uncommittal but uh, kind of really uh, interesting and cur interested and curious when it comes to you, when it comes to prospects of this connection, they would want to explore it deeper. And we do have this Venus in Cancer, so men see you as somebody who is an ultimate representation of a uh, powerful nurturing force. So it's almost like powerful feminine energy, regardless of how you define yourself. Uh, then we have the North Node in Taurus, so men feel like you're somebody incredibly progressive when it comes to your stability, when it comes to your ambitions, your goals, your concrete, tangible 3D manifestation. It's almost like you progress from year to year, and this is something that they admire. We do have the South Node in Libra, so they don't see you as somebody who will allow uh, flighty admirers or something along those lines. So they really want to be seen, seen as the type of people who you will deem appropriate and uh, for whatever your family has imagined for you, your tradition has imagined for you, however you see it. Yeah, but I feel like I'm gonna conclude it here for the pile. I hope you guys enjoyed the small report. If you did, see you in the next one too. Bye-bye.
So for those who chose, you. How do men view you? Okay, for a lot of you men see you as powerful, ferocious man or a woman, the king of wands, reversed, uh, queen, queen of wands. It's almost like they see you as this alpha domineering type of a personality. However, it's almost like they are under the impression with the ten of swords that you tend to attract undeserving partners or just partners who are lacking in energy compared to you, lacking in self-esteem compared to you and so you kind of maybe inadvertently invite some unnecessary complications to your life king of wands reverse so a lot of men if you are feminine uh, or interested in men romantically feel like you they would really want to be uh, that alpha guy for you because specifically there's something about you are uh, almost attracting beta males is what I'm sensing so and so they come with all kinds of insecurity issues etc uh, etc et so a lot of men really do want to be that uh, you know um, Gucci dominant man in your life so that's something that's coming up strongly uh, a lot of men think that they will be kind of refreshing experience for you something that you would enjoy uh, if you are interested in them that way, something that sh that would allow you to relax in your feminine essence and uh, to kind of just enjoy the softness of your nature, even from time to time. I I'm even hearing if you are uh, more like masculine woman or just in general, more in your masculinity, whether you are a guy uh, or have a, however uh, men still mm, want to associate with you, they... Uh, men still want you romantically if you are a woman and if you are a guy they just feel like they can create something amazing with you uh, whether uh, as a couple or professionally lifestyle wise so this is something that they are always kind of always always noticing men want to partner up with you for business these two of cups reversed However, a lot of them uh, are kind of lacking the guts to approach you, whether romantically or business-wise. And they often kind of feel that they have to work more on themselves to be this mighty guy for you or this mighty business partner, uh, you know, partner in trouble, whatever it is, however you relate to men. So this is something that they are often kind of considering with you. Uh, I'm sensing men like your cheekbones. Uh, that's something that's coming up and your profile of the face it's just your whole face there is something uh, interesting about that especially if you have like darker eyeshadows or you like to sport them so there's something darker about your eyes or, or the way you apply your makeup makes them look more uh, imposing and kind of sed that seductive in a scorpionic way so that's something that men have kind of realized. I'm just sensing that men want to be a, this sultan for you. Uh, if that will make sense, see how this picture looks. Mm. So basically apply how it is. Or if you are interested more in feminine energy, so they want to dance around for you, etc. etc. And if you are a guy, of course. Uh, no, if you are more... On the feminine side, they want to be your king, basically. Um, it's almost like they imagine you guys indulging all kinds of things in your luxurious haven that they will create for you. So, 
Yeah, I'm just, just sensing men, men have a lot of gentlemanly energy toward you. Even men who are not interested in you romantically, uh, they want to be good for you, they want to be kind for you, and uh, they want to make your life easier in some way. So that's something that's coming up. Men also see you as somebody who has worked a lot on your healing. Some of you may be working in sanctuaries, healing institutions, hospitals. Uh, you could be healers of some sort. That's something that's coming up in this one. Um, yeah, but men feel like you will, in, uh, how do I say, they feel like you will reinvent uh, their entire existence with this judgment. Card. That's something that's uh, kind of prominent here in this card. And then we do have this Ten of Pentacles. Men feel like you're somebody who has a support of big or traditional family. It can be a wealthy one, it can be just well-known one, uh, prominent one in your community. So that's something that's kind of em emphasized in the cards. We do have Ten of Swords. So I will say that men see you as somebody who is for a lot of people that, uh, how do I say, never forgot an ex or that person who, whom they never transcend in a way. People, men could be seeing somebody, you as somebody who has overcame, overcome, has overcome uh, some sort of a childhood trauma or some sort of tumultuous event. That's something that's coming up. I'm getting for a lot of you uh, let me just see if you have something related to volume and your hair, men kind of notice that and they see uh, how it fits you basically. They see some sort of a perfection uh, of your hair related to your facial uh, structure, bone structure. That's something uh, that they kind of always... Uh, pay attention to is what I'm sensing. So, I'm getting that men see you as somebody who intrigues them incredibly, but uh, you do make them a little bit intimidated. So, uh, especially if you are more on the feminine side, but you are a ferocious woman, uh, which I do see that uh, a lot of them see in you in a way. So, they kind of dream to be this equal match for you, your bunny to your Clyde is what I'm sensing, so uh, for a lot of you men see you as somebody who is just very athletic, whether you uh, are very fit, you have beautifully defined muscles or you uh, have a specific program for exercises that you always utilize, uh, but they just see your body, that, which even naturally for some of you, even if you don't exercise, uh, your body looks like you are regu regularly, athletically performing, so yeah, like you could be a professional athlete even if you are <clears throat> that's something that's coming in this one, men always kind of notice your accessories, things that you uh, cover yourself with is what I'm sensing and like especially when clothes with layers are worn, so transition seasons uh, I'm sensing for a lot of you is when you really shine, you may have beautiful coats, uh, I don't know, beautiful skirt and uh, coat outfits type of uh, things. This is something that men are kind of noticing about you. Then we do have Mercury and Leo. Uh, I will say that uh, men kind of uh, like this, they have noticed and they like this quality that you have this tendency to brag about them. So it's almost like you compliment them publicly, uh, those of them who really deserve it. Uh, I'm sensing that they have to really deserve that compliment. But uh, when you do uh, give it, they feel like king, they feel like an emperor. Uh, and so they really, truly cherish your presence, even if there's no uh, a hint of romance there or anything similar. Uh, but regarding, regardless, uh, so yeah, you really pump uh, men in some way. You have your ways of elevating their confidence. Uh, 
without it somehow devaluing you. For example, if you are interested in men romantically, so that's something that men have acknowledged about you, that it's kind of curious to them is what I'm getting. So men feel like you're this incredibly energetic person, that you are always on the go, go-getter, uh, overachiever type of a personality. A lot of them wonder, like, in what hours uh, do you manage to achieve all that you achieve? Like, what's your schedule? Uh, I'm sensing that men feel like you have ser some sort of secret to productivity. Not productivity, but just smart or deep work. Uh, most of you have heard of the uh, phrase. So you really know how to utilize your energies in the smartest way. So this is something that men are kind of noticing. Men are also seeing you as somebody who has retained something childish, something youthful, and this is something that holds a lot of appeal to them. Uh, men feel like you are a very elo eloquent type of a person, so there is that. And I'm also getting that a lot of them would position you in some other era almost. So uh, for those of you who felt like you never really belonged uh, in the era where you live currently, men have also acknowledged this quality to you. Then we do have the Mars in Sagittarius. There's something very idealistic about your uh, religious beliefs, religious system, uh, and the way you share it with the others. Uh, but men kind of notice it in a positive way. They almost see a little bit of this uh, charismatic creature uh, type of a figure for some of you or they see like you could be something like that or like motivational speaker this Mars and Sagittarius is, is excellent for that so it's almost like you could motivate masses to I don't know strive for enlightenment or uh, go to pilgrimages more or do fasting religious fasting more whatever it is uh, whatever you imagine uh, you could make people do it basically, and they feel like you can make do that. You can make them do anything, so that's something interesting. Uh, let's see. Men feel like you have your way with them. You have your way with charisma directed at them, and your charisma in general. So I know this is giving me the vibes of that channel charisma on command. If you most of you have heard it. Uh, but you guys could almost be the coaches for uh, something like that. Mm, or at least that's, this is male perception of you. So, uh, yeah, a lot of powerful expression from you guys. Uh, and there's just something relentless about you. Something bold and daring that they uh, always get shocked with is what I'm sensing. So, yeah, but I feel like I'm going to conclude it here for the pile. I hope you guys enjoyed this small report. If you did, see you in the next one too. those who chose this play how do men view you power
can see you as somebody initially whom they haven't estimated well for a lot of you, so that's something that's coming up. I also see you as somebody who brings uh, up their uh, childish side or this desire to be more light, more playful. Uh, it's almost like even if they aren't, they do desire to be like that, to impress you in some way, because some of them are sensing that you need some lightness in your life. <clears throat> currently or they kind of want to emulate some of your energy so that's some, something that's coming up. I do sense that uh, men get positively surprised that you are not just this steady uh, reliable character but that you, you are also somebody who keeps shocking them with new and additional layers that they haven't recognized initially so it's almost like men feel like you keep changing their opinion uh, about yourself. There's something shamanistic about you guys. It's almost like you never give uh, off the right impression or the full impression. There's always things that they have to uh, uncover about you. That's something that uh, men are kind of noticing. Men feel like you're somebody who looks incredibly youthful for your age. If you are young... Uh, you are re really uh, living your current lifestyle and they see you as a winner, winner, whatever you are doing. Men also feel like you are somebody who makes them feel as winners in life and in general. And specifically, some men feel like you will help them achieve certain goals or ambitions faster somehow, somewhere. You know, that quote, behind every powerful man, there's a mighty woman or something like that. So, but of course, apply that for your gender, for your preferences. Men just feel like you are other half of their uh, power couple duo is what I'm getting. Then you do have two of pentacles reversed. I'm getting you become men's only option romantically. So once you get, uh, how do I say, once you get on the scene, everybody else dissipates. Uh, and this is something that makes you very unforgettable for men. So, yeah, a lot of fast blossoming energy with you guys is what, what I would say. It's almost like they quickly develop feelings. They quickly develop attraction. They... There's something about your appearance that's uh, irreplaceable to men, is what I'm sensing. So, um, I will say that men notice your outfits a lot, specifically. Specifically for those of you who... Let me just see... Yeah, who almost... I'm getting... Specifically when you look more professional or... There's something about you... Uh, where business smarts really look nicely on you or uh, let me just see yeah when you wear something more traditional that's something that they uh, kind of always dig and notice in you is what I'm getting so men feel like you have really amazing eyelashes for some of you I'm getting like strong eyebrows or dark eyebrows prominent ones uh, there's just something about your eyebrows that's really uh, how do I say, frames your face, yeah, uh, somehow, some way, your eyebrows are perfect for your face, however they are, uh, and men are really acknowledging that in a way, men really notice your neck, is what I'm getting, you could be having like, more slender type of neck, uh, more elegant looking one, uh, model-esque one, this is something that they are noticing, I'm sensing for a lot of you who have like bright hair, men f feel like it fits you beautifully. That's something that really goes well with your personality, really goes well with your appearance, outfits. Uh, somehow, some way, men see you as the type of a person who... You almost look like exactly like you had to look in some way, so... Uh, when people say your name, they can almost connect a body <laughs> with that name or appearance with that name, personality with that name. So, I will say that men feel like that 
a lot of your inner qualities uh, successfully reflect on the outside. So that's something that's coming up. If you are mature people, men like uh, how you age. That's something that's coming up. Uh, those of you, for example, who have grey hairs, that's something that they like about you. Uh, whether you dye your hair, hair or not, uh, they get turned on. I'm getting that a lot of younger men get turned on by you and younger people in general. If you yourself uh, are younger than mature, people also have a thing for you. So we do have Aries in 10th house. So you could be somebody who is known uh, for something pioneering that you do, whether in your career, in your hobbies, lifestyle. Uh, there's something that you do unlike uh, anybody else in your environment. For some of you it can be related to your appearance because that house is all about reputation, what, are, what we are recognized for. Uh, yeah, and for a lot of you, it is even your physical body. There's something prominent about physical body and specifically get, getting like one part prominent. So it can either be you have uh, very uh, well-built uh, arms or your legs are really standing out or uh, there's something on your body, on your appearance that that's kind of always noticed is what I'm getting. Then we do have this uh, moon in ninth house. Men see you as very educated, very learned. You're always striving for higher learnings. Maybe you are the most educated person they know. Even if you're not formally, your street smart is amazing uh, and can be paralleled with the higher education of somebody who attended college and something like that. Uh, men like how you utilize and adjust your knowledge in accordance with, with the real situations that happen to you or that can happen to you. So uh, maybe you have a lot of emotional intelligence that you apply to your relationships, but then you also uh, street smart things uh, that you know uh, help, help you bring in more money or help you ensure a better future for your family. So this is something that's coming. A lot of you men see you as somebody who is incredibly hygienic, clean. Uh, maybe you, uh, I'm hearing you always uh, also smell wonderful. So that's something that they are uh, noticing. For a lot of you, your uh, face actually may be the most uh, uh, prominent feature of yours. Uh, or that's where you are the most attractive, more hand, most handsome, uh, most surprising even for some. So there can be something exotic about your face as well, about your eyes is what I'm sensing. So let's see, definitely, definitely Taurus first house really beautifies uh, that appearance in their eyes and uh, I'm getting you get a lot of uh, looks from the men on the street so yeah I will say that you easily uh, attract attention toward you, uh, however you are, uh, whether it's related to your appearance or your general sense of vibe, and men kind of feel like you easily command the room, the area, um, with the Ace of Cups, the, you feel like you're somebody who prefers, like your dominant mode could be logics, uh, this is something that they have noticed about you. Then we have these two of crystals. Yeah, I'm getting that a lot of men just feel like you are this incredible person who can fit, fit in most environments easily. So uh, wherever you go or where, wherever you come, you can go, uh, I don't know, to sports event, but then you they can also take you to the dance and then you guys can go to cinema or to some sort of learning, educative activity. So it's almost like the men, men see you as the type of a person who can follow them uh, to most of the activities. And I'm getting a lot of men feel like you could fit into their lifestyles uh, romantically just because of all the layers that you have is what I'm getting. So some of you may have like bigger forehead and this is something that men actually dig 
is what I'm sensing, or however your forehead is, even if it's smaller, uh, they really find it cute or beautiful on your face. If you have freckles, this is something that men are noticing, that they kind of also on the positive notes is what I'm sensing. So let's see. Yeah, I'm getting wings for somebody, so men could be acknowledging that on your body and liking for some reason. Especially if you are more of the brighter skin type of a person. So, let's see. Yeah, and men feel like you're an absolute pioneer of spiritual power is what I'm sensing. So, it's almost like you will create something really out there when it comes to spirituality, belief systems, religions, that's something that's coming up. It's almost like men feel like you could be somebody who founds a religious blog, uh, I don't know, some kind of religious institution or spiritual kind of, uh, how is it said? Those places where there are many activities, spiritual retreat or something along those lines. They just feel like you will benefit society somehow by your belief systems, is what I'm getting. Let's see. Yeah, men definitely love your arms uh, and your hands also for a lot of you. So, that's that. Some men like your uh, handwriting, is what I'm sensing for those of them who have seen it. We do have Mars in 12th house and men are very anxious to satisfy you in bed is what I'm sensing uh, if you have those kinds of experiences with men uh, and for the others they just feel like you have a lot of sexual acti activity going on for you whatever you prefer genitals wise you are getting a lot of it uh, and so yeah that would be that uh, I feel like we will conclude it here uh, for the pilot. Hope you guys enjoyed this small report. If you did, see you in the next one too. Bye-bye.